Step one, separate your hair into two sections so that you have a top section and a bottom section. Step two, braid a small section of your hair at the crown of your head and then pin into an S shape with a Kirby grip. Step three, wrap fabric or paper around your braid and then tie into place to create your base. Use a loose elastic to hold it into place and then tie a fishnet stocking or hairnet on top of it. This will make it easier to pin your hair later. Step four, tease your hair by working them section by section. Then secure each T section onto the base you've created with Kirby grips. Now pull out a section of your hair at your ears for the lightning bolts later and continue teasing your hair until you have a beehive shape. Step five, spray the hair at your ears white. Hold a piece of paper underneath so you don't get white on the rest of your hair. It's okay to pull faces at this stage. Step six, pin the white streaks in a zigzag formation. Step seven, apply a white base. Start with a lot of product and then blend outwards. Use a makeup sponge to get even coverage. Step eight, add purple lipstick. Simply apply as you normally would your lipstick. Use your purple lipstick as an eyeshadow to tie the whole look together. Simply blend with your finger and flick outwards for a cat eye effect. Step nine, apply liquid eyeliner. Focus on your outer corners first to make it easier. Then bring the liner into the center of your eyelid and fill in. Now take your eyeliner along your bottom lash line for definition. Step 10, add mascara. Apply at least two coats of mascara for a dramatic effect. Step 11, elongate your eyebrows. The Bride of Frankenstein is known for her brows, so focus on your arch first and then fill in the rest of your eyebrow. Step 12, map out your scars with a red lip pencil. Draw along your cheekbone and then down the center of your cheek and around your chin. This is where you naturally want the contours. Keep checking the mirror to make sure that both sides are even. Now draw two semicircles at your hairline, leaving space for the bolts at your temples. Then use your liquid eyeliner to create the staples in between each cut. This is the fun part. Step 13, create depth with a nude colored eyeliner. Draw two lines on either side of each cut. This will give you depth.
Step 14. Create shadows with a darker red lip pencil. Add the darker shade of red to the top and sides of your cuts, which will make them look 3D. Now add the darker shade of the red to the outside of the nude eyeliner to give them more depth. Step 15. Blend the outer edges to create scars. Using a small brush, softly blend the outer lines of your cuts to create the effect of scars. And use your liquid eyeliner to draw the bolts on your temples. This can be quite rough. your nude eyeliner to add shadows and depth. And then finish off by outlining your bolts again to define them. <laughs>